I hope y'all seeing that. That's pretty nice. Now, when I tested it, when I tested this out, it did not do this. But now it's giving me a hey, your computer has been affected with the Windows Defender. Um, I have a Trojan spyware uh, located and it's giving me a Windows support contact number to actually call, right? Now we could do some research and say that this is probably not a 8100 number for Microsoft, but this is a good indication of a um, kind of like a, uh, a, a, a spoofed uh, website where, look, if, if you look in the background here, they give you the Microsoft page that could have been, you know, screenshotted and then they will write the code to actually make the the windows pop up and make you feel as if oh snap i made a i made a problem now here's the problem i could really have something uh now that i i mistyped and i was a victim of typo squatting typo squatting i could have something installed in the background of my computer right now but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna really fall for that um if something would have been installed on my PC, my antivirus would have already kicked on a an alert and would have said, hey, you downloaded something that was really weird or, or you know, what do you want us to do with this? But for you guys to see, can can y'all see this, what I'm saying? Um, somebody give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can see this. All right. So this is a good example of typo squatting straight up just took me to a whole different site that i didn't want to go to i was trying to go to facebook and now i got something on my phone now if i uh, or got something on my pc now if i was a if i was a uh a elderly person or someone that was a uh, real new to pcs i probably would be you know alerted and say hey i need to actually call this helpline and see you know what let's call them i got my phone right here bear with me one second i'm gonna put them on speakerphone and let's just see who actually answers the, answers the phone um five one two zero and i probably that ain't even they ain't even do the the phone number right it's supposed to be three digits and then the four. So you could tell like little things like that. It's telltale signs that it's not a legit site, but people, you know, if you see this popping up on your PC, you might panic. And they even put it down here for the security helpline. So that lets you know that you're probably gonna be dialing out of, out of country, probably so. I'm not gonna, well, I'm gonna dial it just for, just for the learning purposes, right? So let's see what's going on with it. Y'all let me know if you can hear it. Give me a thumbs up, you can hear that. All right. Thank you for calling to support this site, John Lee. How can I assist you today? Hey, John, my name is Lee. Uh, I got a... A, some type of message on my PC that actually says that I downloaded a Trojan spyware. What's going on with that? All right, sure, I got it. And may I know, Mr. Lee, how you get this message in front of your screen? Do you recall what was the last thing you were doing? Uh, no, not really. I was just re really trying to go and check my um, Instagram. <laughs> Threw me right here to this dog on um, spyware thing. But I can see here with this number, we have several registration. One is coming under William R. Myers. One is coming under Caleb J. Myers. And one is coming under Duke Gollier. One is Fernando Lopez. Do you know any of the person? Caleb. Thank you, pardon? Caleb, you said Caleb, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, I know, I don't know Caleb. You know Caleb? Who is he? Look, I'm, I'm trying to get the spyware off. Um, and Caleb is not here, so can you help me get the spyware off? Like, I got important information on this PC. I need to get it off immediately. Like yesterday, I needed to get it, get it off. What's up? Let me tell you, sir. 
So I hung up, right? So now that was actually pretty good. Um, he, the, the reason why he took so long is was he was trying to run a more likely a, a reverse lookup on my phone number. The wonderful thing about my phone number is that I'm cheap and I went to cricket, right? And I got me a cricket phone and for some reason they won't put my actual name on my phone. They put Caleb's uh, phone number. They have his name associated with my phone number. But anyway, he was looking for that. That's why, you know, he was actually able to pull some information off my phone number. Right. But he has no type of connection to my actual PC. But what he was going to lead with is that, hey, let me go ahead and remote into your PC since we already are, you know, checking um, that you have this type of issue. And if you guys heard, his accent is not of this nation. Well, it could be. Uh, let me take that back. It could be. More than likely, it's not. All right. More than likely, I dialed over there to somewhere in the Middle East. More than likely. All right. Just basing off of the the phone number that I call. So, with that being said, let me go ahead and uh, X out of here. Go away. Go away thing. I don't want to click on nothing. Security message. Your computer has been locked up. Y'all hear this? Yeah. You heard. You heard of what she said, right? My computer has been locked up, which is 